Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the podcast. You are in for a special treat. That's right. We are back for Extra Credit Fridays. And here's what I like so much about this, guys. You already know we go back, we revisit those iconic conversations. And today we're back with another one with none other than Dave Mays. That's right. The guy who created not only just the Source magazine, but also the Source Awards. This is a staple in hip hop. This is an iconic interview where we sat down with one of the most legendary guests of all time. Enjoy this Extra Credit Fridays clip. With Dave Mays. Like so many people right now, right, they are building something, right? They they're I have Dave Mays on a show. They have the idea. They they want to create something like the source, but they have to also realize that, you know, things happen, right? Things happen, things to look out for. When you look back at something that didn't go as you want it to, as planned, like what comes to your mind? Was there ever a moment where you're like, you know what, this magazine isn't working out, I'm ready to move on. Um, so, I mean, you know, there were, there were definitely, um, mistakes that I made along the way that I have learned from and, you know, mostly recognized, you know, after the fact, um, I, I did a lot of things well and, and accomplished a lot, but, but also made a lot of big mistakes. So, you know, for me, it's, it's been about learning from those, understanding, you know, what caused those. And, you know, some of it was uh, just having such a great amount of success at a young age. You know, uh, I started the source when I was 19. Wow. Uh, and uh, it just, you know, it grew. And, you know, I didn't go to, you know, I went to Harvard. I was a government major. You know, I didn't go to business school. I didn't know about any of this stuff. So, you know, I was learning, figuring things out as I went along. But, you know, when you have a, a lot of success at, at a young age and things are, are rolling, you know, I think sometimes, you know, you can uh, think everything is going to work, uh, every idea you have. Um, so I think just, you know, learning to have the right people around me that can really uh, support my vision, but also, you know, be able to contribute to the vision and be able to, um, you know, let me know sometimes when I might be getting a little too carried away, you know, with something and, and you know, pull me back in. So, you know, I'm, I'm really excited about the team that I've got around me as I launch this new business this time. Um, you know, I want to recognize my, my business partner, Kendrick Ashton, who's just an incredible person. Kendrick is, a, you know, a super accomplished businessman in his own right. Um, former investment banker, you know, founder, uh, co-founder of a very successful investment bank in New York and started uh, an incredible uh, business in the Washington, D.C. area back in 2018 called the St. James. It's a place unlike anything else uh, that you've ever seen when mm. you visit the St. James. Um, and uh, I got introduced to Kendrick a few years ago in D.C. at an event. And we just started talking and, you know, we kind of really hit it off and became friends. And, you know, I started telling him about some of the ideas I was having for creating a new platform for the hip hop community. And, you know, Kendrick loves hip hop. And uh, so he's he's one uh, who's, who's really, you know, ex I'm really excited to have. And then I got to shout out my my lady, uh, my, the love of my life, her name is Brett Jeffries. And, um, you know, Brett and I have been together now for uh, over five years. And she's just an incredible woman that's really helped uh, change my life. And, um, you know, she's contributing also greatly to what I'm doing. And with Breakbeat, Brett has a, a background uh, working with Oprah Winfrey, mm. uh, producing producing and developing programming for years uh, there and has done a lot of other things. And so creatively and, you know, marketing and other ways, she's really uh, somebody that I can count on both to be there, you know, for me personally, but also, you know, that I really trust, you know, on the business side, her, her instincts about uh, things. So, uh, you know, there's a number of other uh, great folks that I've already been able to pull together on the different podcast projects and, you know, really great team of different producers and writers um, that, that are working uh, on all the different shows right now. So I know it's going to, you know, prove to be a, just a, a fertile environment like the source once was for not only discovering, 
you know, rappers do on side hype, but there's, you know, dozens of people, executives and people that are, you know, in TV or movies or media or all kinds of, you know, fields uh, today at a very high level that, that started, you know, at the source. So. Hey, what's up, fam? Thanks for watching. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button, smash that like button. We'll see you next week here at School's Over Now What? And always remember, dream it, believe it, go out and get it.